And you can demonstrate the difference between diesel and petrol very easily, but I'm just going to try and light the diesel in this container here. And it goes out straight away because that will burn, but it's less refined. So it won't set on fire just by putting a match in it. Compare that with petrol. And there you have the difference. Petrol is volatile, even at room temperature, it lets off fumes. That's why you can smell it so easily. And the vapour is flammable. That is a very dangerous fuel to be around. Early petrol engines leaked flammable fuel and fumes from every pore, which made the Navy's petrol submarine so prone to fire that white mice were kept on board. If the mice became overwhelmed by petrol fumes, then the crew knew it might be a good idea to shut the engines down and open a porthole, which is easier said than done in one of these. You can get a sense of what being stuck next to a petrol engine in a submerged tin can was like by starting one up. Ignition on, here we go, wish us luck which, with a 100-year-old engine, is no picnic. Happy your end? I'm not at the, I'm not at the right point, am I? If you get it set in the right place, well, you think I'm too near me? I guess this is what you get when you try starting up a petrol engine in a documentary about the diesel. <laughs> not enough effort. No, is that what it is? No, be, no tell me... Surely more effort needed. Oh, when did they invent the starter motor? Yes! Finally! Oh my God, I'm knackered! What a beast! There is petrol literally dripping and oozing out of this engine. Would you want to be in a submarine powered by one of these?